international star, Oscar winner, but just the Louisville girl at heart. When I spoke with Jennifer Lawrence in Los Angeles recently, I found her unassuming as ever, eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We chatted about everything from the new man in her life to whether she plans to move back home. Oh, oh, good to see you. you. You're from Kentucky yes, too. Of course, Great to see yeah. I'm from Louisville. I know. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm a, a Cardinals and a UK that. shirt you have there? Well, well because we're split. It's a friendly rivalry with Jennifer Lawrence, a die-hard Louisville Cardinals fan, and her co-star Josh Hutcherson, a Union Kentucky native, a lifelong Cats fan. Got a little present for you guys. Thank you. you. Yes. That's and awesome. You're a huge Cats fan. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Great one. Uh oh. When we put these on, we're gonna start fighting. Oh, it's gonna come yes. out on top this season. Thank you. Happen, UK. I mean, we're already right no, number one. No, definitely the Cards. I'm gonna try to go to that game, UK Cardinals. I'm you are? It's right before Christmas. So what do we do? Hetcherson plays Peter Malark to Lawrence's Katniss Everdeen, and for the two actors, life is pretty much imitating art. The victors of the 74th Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malark. After winning the first Hunger Games, the two are instantly famous, crowds clamoring to see them at every stop as they travel the districts on a victor's tour of the fictional Pan Am. Life changed in an instant, and not just for their characters. The girl on fire! Um, it's hard to keep a personal life, and like sometimes when you just want to go out to dinner, you just want to, and you kind of have to think about everything, and um, yeah, it can be hard, but you know, there's downsides to every job. Life as an A-list actor looks glamorous with nights at luxurious hotels like the Four Seasons, red carpets, and stylists, but it's not always what it appears to be. All the glamour and fabulous things aren't actually true. <laughs> like when they, <laughs> when they put us on the red carpet, when they put us in these clothes and they put our hair and makeup, that's not actually real. So the part that people think is glamorous isn't actually happening. I what think. do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? They're, what do you mean? They're what really do you mean? putting makeup on, on us, and those are well, real for, dresses. Okay, for me, okay, I guess for me that's not glamorous. But <laughs> for somebody well, yeah, that no, might it's be not concerned. glamorous to us because okay, okay. it's work. Okay, but. I see. Are you getting home very often these days? How often do you get home? Or what do you love to do when you when you go home? Yeah, I've been. I, I used to only come home kind of like for holidays and stuff, and in between when I could. But then I had a nephew born a couple of years ago, so then I can't stay away from him. Um, so I, I get home like. Every other month, I try, and and we have a new baby that just got born. So it was just born, didn't just get he just born. Got born. Yeah, he just got born. So good for him. Um, and so I'll be coming home. Yeah, in about when I finish here, basically. What do you enjoy doing most when you get there? Playing with the babies yeah. and just seeing my family and just hanging out. Have you ever considered moving back to Louisville, buying a house, and moving back to Louisville? Um, I have thought about it. Yeah. I do think about that sometimes. Have you settled down anywhere at this point? Have you got, do you have a house here or New York? I know last time I talked to you, you weren't decided where you were going to live. I'm still there. A year later. <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't bought a house yet, but I will. I just don't think I'm mature enough to have property. <laughs> but hopefully by the time we wrap these, I will. Hey, just please, please just help me get through this trip. There's still a ways to go. Catching Fire is only the second of four movies in the franchise, giving fans a closer look at the districts, the capital, and taking Katniss and Peeta back into the arena for another fight to the death. It's an understatement to say life has been a whirlwind for Lawrence since she signed on to The Hunger Games. She was honored for her work in another film, Silver Linings Playbook, with multiple awards, including the Oscar. Jennifer Lawrence, Silver Linings Playbook. But it's hard for her to pick a highlight so far. I normally, those things you only think about like when you're at, you know, it's like kind of a work situation. I, I more, normally get happier about like personal life stuff. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm most proud of. I assumed it would be the Oscar, but not necessarily, I guess. Well, I also talked to Jennifer's Catching Fire co-stars who have fantastic stories about her and lots of Kentucky connections themselves, surprisingly. So that's next week on WDRB News at 4 and 10. I hear that we're going to get some quips, some funny stories about Jennifer. Yeah, and we've all heard that she's a lot of fun. There's no filter. She does and says crazy things. And we're going to hear a little bit of that from people like Woody Harrelson, Liam Hemsworth, and some of our other co-stars. So good stuff still to come.